a music lover, a go-getter, and a family man. Always about family. He was very excited that he was going to be a dad, too. That's how relatives of Javon Deshini are remembering him after he disappeared in October 2021. His sister, Shanna, still remembers the panic call she got from their father. I answered the phone and I could hear in his voice, he's like, Shan, um, son, brother hasn't called me or we don't know where he's at. He never, he hasn't called me or, you know, this is not like him. According to Navajo police, Javon was detained on October 25th for intoxication. Officials say Javon was then taken to the substation in Shiprock, where he was able to escape the back of a transport van and vanished. My dad and Debbie kept going to the station, you know, asking, like, you know, what are you guys doing? And they never got a response back from them. They just kept telling them, oh, we want our handcuffs back. For two weeks, family members, both near and far, scoured the area in hopes of finding him until they got some unexpected news. On November 11th, Javon's father, Francis, said he got a call from the Navajo Police Department saying that they found Javon's body near Canal in Shiprock and that his hands were handcuffed behind his back. The only thing I, I want with my son is I want justice. That's all I want, you know. I want to know what really happened, how it happened. Now, over three months later, questions still remain. Just that no answers have been given to us, you know, from the day it started to the day they released his body, nothing. Like, how was he able to escape from police custody? Or why was his body found near a canal? You should be responsible. You should know the right protocols to, to follow the guidelines. I just think that all that needs to be fixed here on the Navajo Nation. For many relatives, like Javon's cousin Talia, these questions still linger in the back of their minds, despite laying Javon to rest early February. I don't think we'll ever get closure, you know, as well as every individual out here that is going through what we went through. And hopefully no one else goes through it, you know. Hopefully there'll be change. And that's what he wanted, you know. And that's the positivity we take from it. You know, we're all together. He wanted us to be together. With positivity comes hope, something his family will continue to hold on to for Javon and others like him. We're not going to let him just be another statistic, and we're not going to let them put him in the back. We're bringing this up to the front, and we're going to get justice for him. Reporting in Shiprock, Brian Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News.